The Oriental Pied Hornbill. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm picking apples for Mom so she can make an apple pie. Do you want to help me look for some ripe apples? <coughs> oh, here's a nice ripe apple. Ah, oh, this one's good too. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Is there something in that tree? Oh, it's just a lizard. <coughs> <gasps> that big bird is trying to catch the lizard. That bird has such a big beak. I wonder what kind of bird it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, birdie. Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of a bird with a giant beak. Hi, Leo. Oh, wow. I've never seen such a bird before. Can you find out what kind of bird it is? Of course. I've already started. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Katie, so what did you find? Hi, Leo. The bird you found is an oriental pied hornbill. There are many types of hornbills in the world. They can look very different from one another, but all of them have long beaks that curve downwards. Wow, look at all those big beaks. The hornbill in our garden tried to catch a lizard with its beak. Besides lizards, Oriental pied hornbills eat animals like frogs, small birds, and large insects. They also feed on wild fruits. By the way, Oriental pied hornbills live in the rainforests of South and Southeast Asia. Hmm, we should take the Oriental pied hornbill back to the rainforest, or it might eat all the fruit in our garden. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have a male oriental pied hornbill with you today. How can you tell it's a male, Ranger Rocky? Oriental pied hornbills have a yellowish white knob on the top of their beaks. This knob is called a cask. Female oriental pied hornbills have much smaller casks, as compared to the larger casks males have on their beaks. Ranger Rocky, the hornbill was trying to catch a lizard in our garden. It must be hungry. Hmm. Perhaps it was looking for food for its mate and chicks. It's the oriental pied hornbill's breeding period. The male looks for food while the female stays with their young chicks in the nest. Oriental pied hornbill nests are built in the holes of tall trees. The male and female hornbill seal up the tree hole with mud, leaving only a small opening. The female hornbill stays in the hole with her chicks. The male hornbill hunts for food, which it brings to the female and chicks through the small opening. Then we will keep an eye out for tall trees with sealed holes. That would be a good start. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a place with many trees, but the trees look short and thin. And on this side is a place with many tall trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a place with short and thin trees. 
And over there is a place with tall trees. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to the area with tall trees because oriental pied hornbills build their nests in them. Let's go. Oh no, why have all these trees been cut down? These trees might have been cut down for wood. Wood is used to make furniture, paper, and many other things. Or maybe these trees have been cleared so houses can be built on the land. Sadly, many animals, including the oriental pied hornbill, lose their homes when forests are destroyed. That's sad. We'd better drive deeper into the forest. Hopefully the trees aren't cut there. What's that sound? Leo, stop. Look, there are people cutting down trees. <laughs> oh no, that tree's gonna fall on us. Phew, that was close. Did you hear that, Leo? I hear it too. Hornbill, where are you going? Sit tight, we're going after it. Maybe it's trying to find its way home. I can't see it anymore. There it is. There you are, Mr. Hornbill. Don't worry, we'll help you find your home. But where can we find the Hornbill's home? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the male Hornbill's home, just look for a sealed nest in a tree. Not for a rusty old key, or a glass of iced tea, but look for a sealed nest in a tree. I see. So not for a rusty old key, or a glass of iced tea, but, but look, look for a sealed, sealed nest in a, in a tree. tree. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the Hornbill's home, you have to look for a sealed nest in a tree. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a sealed nest in a tree. Is that a sealed nest in a tree? It's a nest, but it's not sealed. That nest belongs to a different bird. Let's move on. What is that? It's a hole in a tree, but there are owls inside. It's an owl's nest. Let's look somewhere else. Is this a sealed nest in a tree? It looks like it. And that's the beak of a female hornbill. It's the hornbill's nest. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, Leo. The hornbill is collecting some figs for its mate and chicks. I can hear the baby hornbills. We did it. We found the oriental pied hornbill's nest. Great job, everybody. Yay! Hooray! an oriental pied hornbill in our garden. We learned that oriental pied hornbills seal their nests with mud and that the male hornbill brings food to its mate and the chicks. So we went to the rainforest and helped the hornbill find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Thank <laughs> you.